that you're gonna cut the strips of paper. See how they get thinner? So you're gonna have to be really careful as you get towards the bottom because the lines are really thin. But what we'll do is we'll cut them into strips and then we can practice an activity where we work on our ABCs, okay? So dad's gonna be getting you a printed piece of your paper with this picture that's on the screen. And when you get it, hold it up for me so I know you're all set and we'll go ahead and work on it in a few minutes. Do you like, do you cut with scissors very often? Yeah? Awesome. So are you pretty good with cutting with scissors? Is it easy or hard? Easy. Is it easy? Okay, awesome. Well, when you see the um, book that, that you've got some of the different pages of that, there's some in there that you can cut out different shapes like hearts or even a puzzle where you can make your own puzzle. Let me show you this down here. So these are the different pages. You've got lots of different <laughs> shapes, but towards the end, of the book, there's a lot of shapes. Oh, there's some pretty coloring pages that you can cut out. But look at this, what do you think about that? You could make your own puzzle, you could color it. And yes, just... I, want, I like it. I you like it? it? Yeah, I think you'll have fun with that. So maybe dad can help you do that later. You can um, color in the picture of the puzzle and then cut out the shapes and put it together. That would be fun. But today, right now, we're just gonna do the strips. We'll just kind of do a warm up first and then we can Turn that into an activity where you work on ABCs, okay? Very cool. But yeah, I'm glad you like that. And here's some others. You can make a circle puzzle. What do you think about that one? Like it. Yeah, and you can color it, make it whatever colors you want, or make a design on there. And then there's one that's a diamond. Cool. Okay, so Dad printed us out the scissor skill warm up and got you some scissors. Let's turn the camera down. I won't maybe see your your face as much, but I want to see your hands and how you're working on cutting. You no, know, now remember safety scissor skills. We want to be real safe. Keep our thumb on top. I'm sure. Oh, Dad's got the hard one where you're doing the the uh, angles there. All right, so Amelia, this was a little tougher than just the straight lines. You got to cut that angle a little bit, but start up at the top where the lines are thicker. That'll give you a chance to warm up your, your hands a little bit and get a feel for it. Is that on the black line? Yeah, somewhere on the black line. Yeah. Yep, just uh, across, we're going to, ultimately we'll have some, some uh, nice little strips and then dad can, dad, would you mind writing um, letters on there so we can maybe tear the paper and uh, we'll put them in order, ABCs. Sure. Once we get once we get the strips done, that'll be a nice way to kind of change that activity a little bit. And then one trick, Amelia, if you might try, you kind of when your hands kind of like this, you might try just put your thumb up on top, keep your hand where your thumb's always on top, and that might make it a little easier. See if that helps a little bit. Okay, so try to think about keeping your hand your thumb on top. Keep that thumb on top, whichever direction you're going. Good. And so in your mind, as you're working, think thumb on top, thumb on top, and that will help you have a good angle. And you're doing a great job now keeping that thumb up. See if that trick really helps you. I love how you're doing, you're getting more confident in your holding of the paper as you're going. I love that. Amelia, do you notice how much easier it is now that you're keeping your thumb up? Is that helping? Yeah, good. Very good. Okay. And he may have enough strips. Is dad working to write the letters? So let's go ahead and see what he's got. Can you hold up the letters he's um, written on the paper? Let's see how many letters we've got. Okay. Oh, there's some of them. Perfect. Now here's what we're going to try to do. Uh, we are going to tear between the letters so that you have little pieces of paper with the letters on them. So flip it over so you can see where the letters are. And I want you just to tear between the letters. So you'll just have a little piece of paper. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them all in order. We're gonna see if we can figure out ABC order with the little strips of paper, okay? And dad, if you don't mind, um, tilt the camera down just to where it's showing the table better. And that way, Miss Amelia, I can see what letters you've got already torn out. And we'll bring those down towards you a little bit. I'll be able to follow your order here in a moment. Good, so this is great work for your fingers because your fingers are having to work together to tear the paper. Yeah. And, it, and it's good, you can't make a mistake. It's okay if you tear the letter a little bit, it's not a big deal at all. And you can work those fingers to hold the paper. 
So we'll get all our letters and then we'll put them in the order that and dad might even mix them up for us so we can get them into a mixed up order for you to have to work a little harder. Now, another way we could do this is have you snip the paper so that you could, you know, if you're wanting to just practice scissor skills, but sometimes it's nice to do some other things with your hands, like tearing the paper. So you have a couple of options there. You want to do the last one with the scissors? You want to do that last strip with the scissors? Okay, yeah, that's a good way to practice. So you can kind of see how different ways you can do this activity. Work on that. Okay, perfect. So you've got all your letters. Let's pull them down a little bit towards you at the table so I can see all your letters. And what we're going to try to do, oh, you know what would be fun is um, when you and dad are, if you're playing and you're practicing something like this that we're doing, you could time yourself and see how fast you could get them in the right order. But since this is our first time to do it, Let's just see if we can put them in A, B, C order. So you're going to start with your A, perfect. And, okay, and yeah, that's great. Thanks, Dad. That, that brings it right into view. That's perfect. Thank you. All right, so A, B, C order. And now we have to find what letter are we looking for? You got it. I love this activity too because it um, puts the letters in different um, directions, different, so she has to kind of figure out that it's still an E when it's turned on its side. So that's a nice visual aspect to this. Good, and if you need to do another row down below, if you're running out of room on your table, you can just start another row. Yep, so dad can kind of help you there. So now we've got a K. Perfect, J, K, L, M. Ah, you're looking for your N. Perfect, you got it. Oh. That was good self-correction too when you started to put the O up. Perfect. T. All right. So we're missing a few letters. You'll have to finish those up with the, with the last few letters if you want to finish your alphabet. You were almost there. That was really good. Um, very good. What do you think? Fun activity? That tested your thinking a little bit. I love that. I could see you going through your through all the letters trying to figure out what was your next letter. Singing the song too because I forgot which order it was in, so I was singing the song yes. to see. And sometimes too, when you get the song, when you know the song really well, you can start more in the middle. So you can say J, K, L. So you can start further down so you don't have to go all the way back to A every time. That'll come easier as you practice. Well, very good. Well, you have done an amazing job. Did we have some fun together? Yeah, that's awesome. I really enjoyed working with you and I appreciate you um, helping me out and showing all these cool things that you can do. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. 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 bye.